I wanted to be a singer like my mom, where I used to always look up to her and watch her singing, sing in recordings. I have I have not attended many recordings of hers, just one or two. But those two recordings made a lasting impression uh, in my mind, um, because I was like, wow, you know, how I wish I could do it. But am I good enough? Was always a question mark in my mind. I never used to sing even at home. I was very shy, um, and when I used to sing. A little bit at home, uh, you know. My uh, father, especially, he's he's a very big critic. He's a you know right judge uh, for my singing. He used to pinpoint errors and he used to say, you know, you need to work a lot on your singing. So I just thought, you know, I'm not good enough. Uh, so that was also probably a reason why um, I was a little late in pursuing my dream. But when I was in the 10th standard, there was a cultural competition which I had attended uh, from school. Um, uh, for solo singing, I had sung the song Bole Re Papi Hara, Vani Jairam Amma song. That was my first ever competition. I won the first place for uh, singing in that competition. And uh, Ile Raja sir's daughter, Bhavatarni, she was the judge for that competition. When I told my mom that Bhavatarni was a judge, she immediately called her and asked her, how did she sing? It was, it was my daughter. So Bhavatarni said, oh, that was your daughter. She sang, she sang pretty well. You know, ask her to pursue singing. So that's when, you know, I knew, okay, maybe I have some talent. And then I realized that if I sit and work on my singing and uh, pursue it, properly with dedication, then probably, uh, you know, I could follow a dream, you know, uh, in, in career and music. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained.